it's finally that time of the year when you can start adding some really cool touches budget, to your so keep home watching for but let's make it on a budget so keep watching for the best DIYs and hacks that you have to try hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so excited guys for today's video because I'm going to show you some really cool beautiful and easy projects that you have to try at home they are on a budget using Dollar Tree supplies or maybe things that you have in your home already like always let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel give me a big thumbs up if you like and enjoy today's video and I hope that you are ready because I am let's DIY together for this project, you're going to need a plastic bowl or a plastic planter from Dollar Tree or any other store. Um, just make sure that you find something like this. You can also check at Dollar Tree at the patty section. They have so many options there too. Um, so try to find something like this. And if you like the color that it has, it's okay. But I want to change mine for black spray paint. So I spray paint this outside and then I let it dry. I give it just one coat of paint and it was enough it paint really good and once I have that part ready I'm going to be using a square piece of foam that I just have at home you can get these at the floral section too from Dollar Tree and I'm also gonna be using some plastic bags um, to fulfill the entire bowl Once I have that part ready, um, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to cover all of that plastic bags. So I'm just using a construction paper in, it's supposed to be black, but it looks like purple <laughs> um, color. So I'm going to cover um, the plastic bags with the construction paper. Or you can also use maybe cardboard or something like that in a dark color you can get these moss balls from Dollar Tree they always bring these at the spring season so keep an eye on that but I was actually in one of my stores here in Puerto Rico and I found this huge piece of foam cover all with these foam moss balls and I really like it it was only $10 and this is huge so I decided to get one of those and I'm going to be removing um, just a couple of pieces that I know that I'm going to need for this project what I'm going to do is just to cover the entire bowl with these um, moss balls it's super easy you can use hot glue and this is going to dry super fast and just try to make sure that you are going to cover every single piece on these you have to work on these like a puzzle so make sure that every piece that you are going to stick on these works well and that looks good on your project As you can see, I have some small pieces left without without the moss balls. And to cover those, I'm going to be using the same pieces of foam. I'm going to cut some small pieces and I'm going to use that to cover the spaces like between the moss balls that I have on my project. That way my project is going to look so much better because I'm covering everything, making sure that you cannot see the construction paper. Like I said, you have to make the as a puzzle make sure that everything looks good once I was done this is how my project turned out and I think it looks beautiful it has this high-end look and it's a piece that it's going to work perfect now for spring and summer season and you can find things like this at Kirkland's home goods but you can DIY this piece for a fraction of the price On my last video, I DIY a wreath and you guys really, really like it. So I decided to make another one all about spring. So let's get started. I'm going to be using these ferns that I have at home. You can find similar ones at Dollar Tree 2 or any other dollar store. And because this is like a grapevine wreath, it's super easy to work with it. I don't need any type of glue. I just have to put the ferns through my wreath and that is going to hold really well.
now because it's spring for sure I want to add some flowers so I decided to go with white I'm not a big fan of many colors so I think white is going to work perfect for this project I'm going to cut all of the wire or the stems of these flowers and I'm going to put those on my wreath I want this project to look super fulfilled so I'm going to be using another types of ferns that I just have at home I'm basically using things that I just have on my stash and I'm adding them to my wreath to make it look full and beautiful with so many types of flowers and greenery make sure that when you are doing these wreath that all of the ferns and the flowers are looking in just one direction to make it look better and have like a clean look once i was done this is how my project turned out and i absolutely love this wreath i think it's one of my favorites love all of the flowers and the ferns and how everything looks perfect for the spring season but you can also use it for summer easy easy to do and on a budget of course For the next project, you can use canvas from Dollar Tree. You can find smaller versions at Dollar Tree or you can go with a bigger version. Um, you can get these at Five Below. They come to any package um, or you can DIY your own frame. I'm only going to be using the wood frame for this project. So you can DIY that with some wood sticks and some nails or you can get the ones from Dollar Tree or Five Below. I'm also going to be using this vinyl top liner um, that you can get at Dollar Tree and this is beautiful. I love all of the flowers and it has like this vintage look but it's perfect for spring I really like it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these as the background for the project I'm going to be adding these on the back of the wooden frame and you can use maybe hot glue or any type of glue or you can use a stapler I'm going to be using this one if I find the link I'm going to leave you that in the description box I'm going to be adding some staples on the edges and this is how this project turned out you can style these in so many ways looks beautiful it wasn't a budget using the vinyl top liner from dollar tree I decided to also show you how you can do this project using the canvas from Dollar Tree. So what you need to do is to remove the canvas fabric and you need to remove all of the staples that it has on the back. For that, I'm going to be using this stapler remover. You can get these from you can get these from Amazon and I'm going to leave you the link. This is a game changer. I really love these tools, so I'm going to leave you the link in the description box. Once you remove all of those staples, what I'm going to do is to paint the wood frame using some black shock paint. You can use maybe some stain or you can paint it any color. I really love neutral colors, so I'm going to be painting this white, just one coat of paint. And then I'm going to dry this using my heat tool. That is one of my favorite tools too. And the link is in the description too. Now, because I have a very small piece of this vinyl top liner left, I'm going to be using that for this project. I'm going to do the same steps. I'm going to add these on the back. I'm going to add some staples, make sure that looks good. And then I'm going to cut the excess of vinyl that I have on my frame. This is how the project turned out. I really like it. Love this flower vintage look that this project have and it was so easy to make. For this next project, I'm going to be using this jug that I have. I get it for like 50 cents, but you can check at Dollar Tree. They have so many options too. Um, and you can recreate this same project or you can get the idea or the inspiration from this. 
what I'm going to do is uh, of course I'm going to change that green color I'm going to use some chalk paint in a black color I'm going to give it two really good coats of paint and then I'm going to let it dry I love to use chalk paint for my projects and Werrily brand is, is a really good one to buy Now I'm going to be using this cork sheet that you can get at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using just a very small piece and you can use your Cricut or you can use some markers and I write the word growing and I'm going to then stick that on the front part of my jog. Once that part is ready, I'm going to be adding another small detail. I'm going to be using twine and I'm going to wrap the twine on the handle of this jug. And it's going to give it a really cool touch. Now I'm going to be using some fire to burn the twine and that is going to give it a high-end look and I really love to do that on all of the projects when I'm using twine. Once I was done, this is how my project turned out. It was super easy to do on a budget and it's going to look beautiful on any part of your home. My loves, I hope that you like and enjoyed today's video that you can get ideas and inspiration from these uh, to decorate your home for the spring season. If you like it, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which of these ideas is one of your favorites and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel check my other channel just on my home we are posting every single week and those videos are amazing full of inspiration ideas for projects on a budget and they're super fun so make sure that you check the links in the description box thank you again for the love and support and see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>